Mirror 4 2022 High Saviors GH here. Today we're gonna do a Mirror 4 gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Mirror 4 is a play to earn fantasy MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game. Okay, guys, here are the different classes that we can play as. You can be a warrior. Here's the sorcerer. Here's the Taoist. Here's the lancer. And arbalist. Okay, so we're gonna play as an arbalist. Select. The game is gender lock. Here's the character customization, guys. Here's the presets. Just in case you don't wanna in depth customize your character. And I think this is how you customize it. I guess this is the part where we can change the head. Okay, so this is where we can find the different faces. There are five different faces over here. Then eye makeup, pupil color. Oh, we can make it bright. Then eyeshadow intensity. Okay, so different types of makeups over here. What else can we change here? Hairstyles. There goes the different hairstyles, guys. Okay, there's only eight hairstyles over here. What else can we change? Face contour. Okay, basically the shape of the face. Look at this, guys. Then forehead protrusion. Brow protrusion, you guys get the point, cheekbone, cheek settings, chin, and what else? Eyebrow shape, eyebrow location, default eyes, pupillary distance, man, this is one in-depth character customization right here. Even the position of the pupil, we can change it. And here goes the nose customization, guys. Nose shape, nose length, we can adjust the length of the nose, nostril size, upturned nostrils, okay. Ooh, that's pretty odd. <laughs> Let's just put it in the middle. Okay, nostril location, nose width, nose height. Man. Okay, this is one in-depth character customization. Here goes the lip customization. Mouth size, lip shape, parted lips. And what is this? Dye outfit. I guess this is only a preview of some outfits that we might find in the game. Okay, let's preview some. Here goes one. And here's another one. Okay, let's create this character. Name our character. Confirm. Man, somebody's using my name, you guys, son of a... How about this? Confirm! Okay, cutscene, skip this. And we're in the game. Okay, WSD to move, guys. But we all know what this game is. This is autoplay. So, we barely gonna be using this. Well, anyway, let's follow the arrow. Let's go. We can move the camera by dragging the screen, guys. And there he goes. I think we need to interact with the light over here. Skip! What? It's a dragon. It's a Pokemon. I think I'm hearing Korean. Go to Yeon. Talk to brother Yeon. Okay, now we're autopathing, guys. We're following the brother. And of course, a golem. We need to fight the golem. Oh no. The old man is some kind of a sealing the golem. Now we need to talk to brother Sangbek. Ah, yeah, it's Korean. Find brother Yeon. Again, this brother Yeon. And there goes the brother. Skip this. Go down the cliff. Air walk. Air walk. There goes that the air walk. Okay, we're rescuing the brother. We're now auto playing, guys. Auto combat. Is the game auto loot also? Of course, it's gonna be auto loot. Auto path, auto loot, auto combat, auto play. And I'm assuming it's also auto potions. Yep. Illusion arrow. We have a first skill over here. So, how about let's disable the auto? Let's test out the skills. Okay, how about let's stop? Let's test out this skill over here. There it goes. It's some kind of a area attack. It's some kind of a 360 arrow attack. How about this? I think this is some kind of a somersault. Oh yeah. And this one. Okay. It's an arrow attack. Let's press the auto again. And then go with Yeon. Defeat bats in Cavern Bloom. Okay, now we're fighting bats. Level up. We're now level 2. Collect Cavern Bloom sap. There goes the Cavern Bloom sap. Gather it. And we gathered the sap. And what's happening here? Yeon is getting attacked again. Bruh! Run away! Okay, we're gonna auto play. And the game is playing on its own now. Uh, I think I need to hold this again. Okay, there it goes. When you hold the skill, it disables the auto use. Okay. And here goes a boss. The Valley Shade Spawn King. Cheong Gold. Is there any kind of... Telegraph attack. I haven't seen one. Okay, there it goes. That's a telegraph attack. Is there a dash here? Okay, I think this is the dash. Ooh, but the enemy is defeated already. 
Okay, now this dragon is teaching me how to airwalk, pressing this, okay? Pressing this again. It's double jump. What? Okay, let's try again. Yeah, it's double jump and we can glide in the game. What is this? I think we need to interact with that. And more cutscene. What? Look at the special effects. Kind of like Doctor Strange. Skip. And what is this? I guess we're in the first dungeon. Big Brother Sangbae. It's gliding. Okay, so we need to follow the brother. This could be fun if we're the ones playing. And I'm assuming if I click this, it's gonna autopath and do its own thing. <laughs> so how about let's play, guys? This is how we jump and this is how we dash. Oh, one. It's a slide. It's not dash. Okay. Let's try it out. Jump. Man, there's a delay. Okay, now we're gliding. Let's go. Dash. And we got past that. Talk to brother Sangbeck. And now he's flying again. Let's follow him. I don't know where to go. So how about, let's try pressing the auto path. It's going over here. And there he goes. I've heard that there's a hidden passage. There's a hidden passage over there. And man, how do we go there? I guess interact with this and there's a cutscene. Oh, it's a QTE guys. We just need to press the jump. There it goes. By the way guys, I'm the one playing. I'm not auto playing here. And there goes the first boss. Impression bull fiend prisoner. Let's go. Okay. Still not using any telegraph attacks. But why is why is this so close range? Okay. Now we're attacking this door over here. Jail warder. Bullfin prisoner. Guess we're gonna fight those guys. Wow, the cooldown is very long. Takes a while. Burst shell. Now we have a fourth skill. Let's try it out. And it's another AoE attack. It's grenades. Auto equip. Okay, there it goes. Now we need to find a special jail. And there goes the special jail. Open it. And I guess we're gonna talk to this NPC over here. Chiompa. Open up the door. And there goes the princess. We need to rescue her. Okay, open this door. Follow me. And there goes the enemies. I guess he's the boss. Let's go. AOE. Oh, this one survived. Uh oh. Okay, I can move. Dodge. Okay. Starting to like the game. The game is not dodging on its own. So this is gonna be fun. The question here is, do we even need to dodge? <laughs> because the, the enemy might not be damaging us. How pathetic. And there goes brother. And he saved us. Of course. Skip. And we're magically outside the dungeon. Okay, talk to Master Sarmati. And there goes big brother again. He's flying all over the place. Talk to Master Sarmati. Oh, look at this, guys. Somebody playing. There's a lot of people playing this game. I guess most of you already know because this is the most popular play to earn MMORPG. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna read up on this game, check out their website, and maybe learn how to earn in this game and show it to you guys. So be right back. Okay, how to earn in Mirror 4. So what I've learned is we need to farm an item called Dark Steel, and we can get it by just playing the game, doing quests and content. And we need to reach level 40 to unlock a certain content so that we can mine Dark Steel. So that's that. And for the question, is Mirror 4 worth it? The simple answer is, if you like the game, then it is. And you will never like a game until you try it out yourself. Mirror 4 is free. No investment is needed to play to earn in the game. Face the wooden dummy. Destroy the wooden dummy. Okay. Asking me to press this. I thought it's auto combat. What's happening there? Spread shot. Okay, that's awesome. Talk to Master Sarmati. Talk to Master. Go to next training site. There he goes. Now I need to defeat Croker. I'm assuming this frog's over here. Let's go. And look at the graphics of this game. It doesn't look that bad. It looks awesome, actually. Croker. How many Croker? Okay, six Croker. This should fix our quest. And we're done with the quest. Now there's a boss Croker over here. We need to fight him. Let's go. Bruh. 
dodge. Man, I'm not ready. Okay, Yeon, there it goes. You're gonna get attacked again. <laughs> Talk to brother Yeon. Go to Master Sarmati. Okay, we need to follow Yeon again. I guess they're the next target. Defeat Nefariox Horde. Okay, we're defeating the Horde. Let's go. Use skills. Come on, bruh. And the camera angle. One more and we should be good to go. Okay, now go deeper. Okay, I'm liking this area. More hordes. And the game is asking me to press the settings. What is this? You can set how often, okay. Skill frequency always. Close this. And then fight those legions over there. Let's go. Somebody playing over here. He's KSing me. A few more and we should be good to go. This dude. Okay, we're done with the quest. Talk to Yeon again. We're now level 5. I'm assuming we unlock some of the systems. I'm gonna check them out later. See that Nefariox over there. Defeat him. Let's go. Okay, so far the game is really fully auto-played. And I haven't done anything much. The game is not really showing me any kind of customization here that would keep me busy. So, I guess the early stages of this game is mainly fully auto-played. Okay, anyway, talk to brother Yian. And there goes the princess. She's getting attacked again. Skip. Rescue her. Grenades. Yeah, we... Mysterious woman. I thought she's the princess. And there goes another boss. Super AoE. That's still alive, huh? We must ready the dash. Pretty sure he's gonna smash. Nope. He died. Okay, now we need to go to Chiompa's home. Jump. And there goes the home. And there goes the princess. It's a cutscene. Skip. Talk to brother Yeon. Okay, craft. Now the game is teaching me how to craft. And what do I need to craft? This one over here? Okay, let's go. Craft. Now we have a horned bow equipped. Okay, let's go back. Now we need to talk to brother Yeon again. Talking to the brother. Okay, and for some reason, the village is getting attacked. Okay, skip this. Rescue brother Yeon again. Let's go. Grenades. Okay, they're defeated. Rescue brother Yeon. Now we need to find the master. He's the master. He should be fine. Find Cheonpa. And the princess again. We need to rescue her. Grenades. This would have been fun. But what can we say? Hey, we. The assassin boss. You're the only one left, bruh. We need to ready up the dash. Come on. And we defeated the assassin boss. Talk to Master Sarmati. Now we need to now we need to leave the valley. Let's follow them. Okay. Now we need to defeat this Yeti Clops over here. We need to defeat three of them. Okay, we're done with that quest. Let's follow Master Sarmati. Okay, another tutorial. Talk to the spirit. Spirit system. Obtain Litter Azure Dragon. Okay. Let's check it out. Spirits. And there goes our first spirits, you guys. Summon them. We can summon them. Okay. Deploy. Put it over here. That should be good enough, right? Now we have a summon. Look at this, guys. It's following us. Okay, so now we need to find Chonpa's trace. Defeat Wildcat Horde. Okay, we're fighting the Wildcat Horde. And we're done with the quest. Talk to Yeon again. Man, there's a lot of people playing at the beginning. This game is still pretty active. Following Yeon, there goes Sarmati Sama. Enhance skill. Now the game is teaching me to enhance my skills. Okay, learn. Flash arrow. Okay, is that it? Assign skills. Put it over here. Okay, enhance. I need to assign it, right? Okay, it's done. Exit out. Let's find Chionpa. Now we need to procure Malady work. It's a plant. Let's go. Talk to Yeon. So the questing is pretty standard and it's very easy to do because it's auto played. And we're fighting more monsters over here. Let's go. Ooh, what is this? Old cotton outfit club equipped. And there was the boss. 
Let's go, bro. Super AoE. You're gonna die. Grenades. And you're dead. Okay, guys. Cash up top. Mirror for monetization. And I've reviewed this. And I can't find any cash up currency. And the only thing that resembles a cash up currency is this mileage currency over here. Because if you buy a package here, you get mileage. And you can use the mileage currency to buy stuff in the cash up. So let's go back to the cash up. Man, this cash up is very confusing. Look at this. There's no item for sale. <laughs> okay, we're back at the support products. Well, at least this tab over here, the support product, answers our question is mere 4, pay to win. And short answer is yes. Because look at this. This first item over here, the Dragon Claw Summon Package. What you get here is Dragon Claw Summon Ticket and a Mystic Dragon Claw Summon Box. To keep this simple, those Dragon Claw over there are items used for crafting equipment, guys. Yes, you're gonna need a lot of those. And there's a lot of packages for Dragon Parts over here. This one is for the Dragon Claw. This one is for the Dragon Scale. This one is for the Dragon Horn. So how about let's take a look at the description of the Dragon Horns. Okay, Dragon Horn Summon Ticket. Use this Summon Ticket to get a random uncommon epic grade dragon horn. It's an essential material in crafting accessories. There it goes. That answers your questions. And there's a lot of dragon parts over here. So we're gonna brush that off. Step up. Okay, here in the step up tab, they're also selling dragon material summon ticket. Man, wait a minute. This is a different currency. It's copper. We can get this by playing the game. Actually, I can buy it. Okay, so how about let's buy this purchase so that we can try to summon spirit stone summon ticket. Now this vigor pill over here, this is a very important item in the game, guys. You get a lot of benefits from using this vigor pill. To keep it simple, it helps you progress faster in the game. Now this greed cordial over here, Increases your item drop rate. When the first one that you get is the EXP one. <laughs> it changed. This is the package number two. Okay, anyway, recommended. Here's another currency that we can buy in the cash shop. Okay, so how about let's go to the summon one over here. Spirit stone. Let's look for the spirit stone spirit. Okay, so we're checking out the special stuff over here, guys. Man, this cash up is one very confusing cash up. Okay, so this level 30 surprise package over here, let's check it out. It also gives dragon scale summon tickets. All the parts, all the parts. More vigor pill. This vigor pill, guys, as I've said, helps you progress faster in the game. Then this one hour speed up ticket, it's used in a system in the game wherein you can just skip the wait time. Now this advancement cordial over here is the EXP boost. This greed cordial is for the loot rate. Okay, so I guess that should be good enough. And that's mere 4 from the start. I'm going to try to get to level 40 here and see how much dark steel I can get per day. So that I can answer if mere 4 is profitable. Now to be honest, I'm having difficulty describing to you guys what's fun in the game. Because at most, I just click the auto path and watch the game play by itself. And there's no customization at least early on so we mainly admire the surroundings and maybe learn from the tutorial but i can say i do like the graphics for a mobile game it's got some amazing scenery and some characters and monsters looks very detailed overall it's a decent mmorpg in my opinion it's just i prefer to actually play and if you want to check the game out the details are on the screen or check my discord out if you want to see other stuff related to mere 4 and if you like the video the thumbs up share and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.